What's up guys, I'm CJR and this is Rad Rogers. This game is releasing tomorrow on uh, Tuesday, let me check my wrist here, February 21st. Uh, thank you to THQ Nordic for uh, providing me with this copy. This one's been on my radar for quite a long time now. It's like a uh, action platformer full of, you know, 80s and 90s gaming references. Uh, the character's name is Rad Rogers. My last name is Rogers, minus the D, of course. The proper spelling. So pretty cool. I told the kids that this game was actually made about me. So we are live on Twitch right now. You may be seeing this replay on YouTube. So if you want to join the live chat on Twitch, you can find the link in the description below. So you're going to hear me talking to people on Twitch throughout this broadcast. We'll probably play through the first 20 minutes or so of Rad Rogers. Uh, we are playing on the Xbox One. It's also available on the PS4 and PC um, starting tomorrow, like I said, on the 21st of February for 20 bucks. I think it's 20 bucks Canadian, so it might actually be uh, cheaper in the States. What's up, Brian? What's up, Brian? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. We are going to start a new game here. I just briefly played a couple minutes of this game. I actually had to turn off. This game features um, like some adult themes and language for sure. There's lots of swearing in this game. So I actually turned that off for this stream. A long time ago, in a glorious decade known as the 90s, there was a boy named Ricardo Rodriguez, <laughs> AKA Rad Rogers. He was sitting alone in his room playing video games when suddenly... Rad, it's time for bed. You've got school in the morning. A total buzzkill called Mom showed up. But I hate school. I'm not going. Yes, you are, young man. No buts about it. <laughs> but, but Mom, I'm in the middle of a level. If I... If you ever want to see that toy of yours again, you'll brush your teeth and go to bed. Now I have now. noticed some audio issues here and there. It's not a toy. I don't care. Turn it off. Right now, mister. His name is Dusty. And I don't need to brush my teeth. Oh, how I wish he would. As Rad drifted off to sleep, Dreaming about being a hero and defeating final bosses, he was suddenly awoken. A strange glitch appeared on the TV, and it wouldn't turn off. Just he letting tried this to turn me off play too, out here. But uh, that's a job for my ex. Just as he was giving me a light slap, lots in, of cheesy jokes. Red was sucked into the TV. The moral of the story is, don't listen to your parents, and cool shit happens. Okay, well, I thought I turned off the, uh, language. This is a no-swearing channel, except for the one that just slipped through there, but, um, maybe it doesn't turn off the language in the cutscenes. Five one five gamer, what's up? Alpha ZB87. Hello, welcome to the stream. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. This is Rad Rogers on the Xbox One. Hey, kid. I In stores wakey, tomorrow. Wakey, wakey. It ain't polite to sleep during a cutscene. DD cut the Husky, scene. what's up? Huh? A cutscene? Dusty? You're alive? Whoa. What is this place? This is the first world, kiddo. Home to the Elder Tree. Thing is, she stopped taking my calls, and the kids have gone berserk. Let's go pay the old birch a visit, huh? Here, take this. Let's make it dangerous to go alone. Oh, yeah. This thing is huge. So tight. <laughs> Just how I like it. I don't think and it's a that, tight my in friend, the 90s. is how you do a cutscene. Just the way I like it. Interesting. Let's so as you can see, ass. lots of adult humor. Oh, controls feel pretty good. So I would say it's like a action platformer. Now 
me just see if I could have sworn I changed that language. Parental control. Mature language is turned off, yet it still swore in the cutscene, so that's interesting. Alright, go in this little cave. It's this lizard man. Holy sh you're alive! Okay, so bleeps. Mom has gone mad! Maybe this will help you on your way. Alright, so you'll get an idea of the language. It just beeps it out. Bleeps it out. Okay, so we have an attack here. Little console buddy. Pretty colorful. I like the art style. Might have needed those boxes. Jump in, kid. Pixelverse, search and destroy. Find and destroy the obstacles. Alright, so controlling. That's not good. Uh, the pixel burst, kid. Looks like a glitch. Let's fix this. Alright, so that's like a portal. Now we open up the bottom portion there. No fall damage. Hey, wait up! I'll pan through the world to show where this will go. Hacksaw Gamer, what's up? Uh, this is on console. This is on the Xbox One, but it's also available on the PS4 and uh, PC, starting tomorrow for 20 bucks. Whoa! Rapid fire! How much ammo do I have? I thought you were a game. Look at the pretty colored bar on the side of the gun. Handles pretty well. I'm using the analog stick on the uh, Xbox One. Graphics look pretty good. Interesting gameplay element. <laughs> it's funny you say that. Uh, gamers for life. I say that about every game, and that's the first thing I thought about this game. Man, this would be great on the Switch. I, I really don't know why uh, games... Maybe, like, I wouldn't be surprised if this does come to the Switch, eventually. Um, but yeah, this would be really well on the Nintendo Switch. They could definitely handle it. I think everything should be on the Nintendo Switch. Interesting to see what different types of enemies come across in this game. The platforming's good. Feels good. Controls are tight. That's the most important thing in a game like this. Is 
So you have to collect these puzzle piece things. I think the save points are, looks like floppy disks. Sometimes I wish we had a pogo stick for these jump puzzles. It does have a kind of a 90s platformer feel to it. Alright, I want these portals. Uh, fill the conduit with pixels to close the rift. This ain't for amateurs, kid. Man reference. Interesting, they're using terms like lit. Four exit chunks. Time to get out of here. Exit chunks. Interesting. That's what they call those pieces. Exit chunks. Yeah, I don't know how well the color is coming across in the stream, but on my TV here, it looks gorgeous. Looks really nice. All right, where am I going here? here? We did it! Okay, so we'll play through some of the next level here. I have noticed some minor hitches in frame rate and audio glitches. I'm surprised there hasn't been an update yet. You can see and possibly hear that there. Let's get them, Dusty. Maybe they'll release an update before uh, tomorrow's release of this game. Yeah, this is a THQ Nordic release. Too easy. Uh, THQ Nordic's been releasing some uh, some good stuff lately. I'm pretty sure Nordic just picked up a few other uh, IPs from some other studios. Now I wonder if there's a button. That, can, that you can stay still while you're shooting. All right, well, I died for the first time. So you, when you aim your shot on an angle, you move forward. I haven't seen it yet, but there's probably a button that would keep you planted so you could aim better. There should be a button that does that. Oh. 
All right, well, this got noticeably harder. <laughs> uh, JR, uh, Junior Zombie. This game is out or going to be out tomorrow on uh, like a bit of blast Xbox One, right, PS4, kid? and Come PC. On, not that no Switch release currently planned that they've announced at least. But it'd be a perfect fit on the Switch in my opinion, so hopefully that happens. See, I can't shoot this guy. Because every time I try and aim at him, I move forward. Yeah, I mean, man, you're weird looking. <laughs> this might help with the face. With the uh, huge numbers that the Switch is doing right now, it really makes sense to get almost any game that comes out on the Switch at this point. You know that game when you're about to die and it beeps all the time? Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so they're slowly introducing new gameplay elements here. Keeping it fresh. Add that to the collection. Oh. Ah, nobody puts Dusty in the corner. sponges at times. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with the control. And I'm back at square one. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this quick little video. Rad Rogers is available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC tomorrow, February 21st, by THQ Nordic. Once again, thank you to THQ Nordic for providing code for this game. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>